Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Deep in the dark, creation is humming. A light has come, a light is coming. A light has come, a light is coming. At 299 million, 792,458 meters per second, a light has come, and a light is coming. Light is energy. It's rays and waves greeting us with a bright, sunny face. Light speeds, and it spreads, covering everything it touches. It breaks, it illuminates, and it captivates. It stimulates the senses and eliminates the dark. It fascinates the children and generates a spark. It shines, and without it, we're blind, literally. It is only when light enters our eye that we're finally able to see. You see, we as a people living in darkness need a great, great light. So it's no wonder then that out of all the things he could have chosen to create first, God said, let there be light, right? So in the middle of the night, when the angel appears to the shepherd's fright, do not be afraid, they say, just follow the light. Star light, star bright, first son is born tonight to the virgin mother, the brother of James, who uttered wonder and suffered under others' blunders to uncover a love for each other and a father and a son shining so brightly. It's only right we called him the light of the world. This light was broken and spread, covering every sin that he touched, illuminating the truth captivating our attention and generating our tomorrow. So let this be a sign that the blind can see, that the water is wine, that the broken are free, and his light will shine into every crack of brokenness, over every horizon of hope. Through the prism of his promise, behold, a drummer boy drumming for glory's homecoming and evil succumbing to the light that has come and the light that is 